Thank you for listening. Thank you for loving God. Thank you for searching to find God for yourself. God is always with you. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. This is a continuation of the lost gospel of Adam and Eve, also known as the conflict of Adam and Eve with Satan. We're starting off at chapter 32, ending at chapter 46. And Adam and Eve remained in the cave of treasures until the seventh day. They neither ate of the fruit of the earth nor drank water. And when it dawned on the eighth day, Adam said to Eve, O oh Eve, we prayed God to give us somewhat from the garden. And he sent his angels who brought us what he had desired. But now, arise, let us go to the sea of water we saw at first, and let us stand in it praying that God will again be favorable to us and take us back to the garden or give us something or that he will give us comfort in some other land than this in which we are. Then Adam and Eve came out of the cave, went and stood on the border of the sea in which they had before thrown themselves. And Adam said to Eve, come, Go down into this place and come not out of it until the end of 30 days. When I shall come to thee and pray to God with fervent heart and sweet voice to forgive us. And I will go to another place and go down into it and do like thee. Then Eve went down into the water as Adam had commanded her. Adam also went down into the water, and they stood praying and besought the Lord to forgive them their offense and to restore them to their former state. And they stood thus praying until the end of five and thirty days. Chapter 33 But Satan, the hater of all good, sought them in the cave but found them not, although he searched diligently for them. But he found them standing in the water, praying and thought within himself. Adam and Eve are thus standing in that water, beseeching God to forgive them their transgression and to restore them to their former estate and to take them from under my hand. But I will deceive them so that they shall come out of the water and not fulfill their vow. Then the hater of all good went not to Adam, but be went to Eve and took the form of an angel of God, praising and rejoicing and said to her, peace be unto thee, be glad and rejoice. God is favorable unto you. And he sent me to Adam. I have brought him the glad tidings of salvation and of his being filled with bright light as he was at first. And Adam, in his joy of restoration, has sent me to thee, that thou come to me in order that I crown thee with light like him. And he said to me, speak unto Eve, if she does not come with thee, tell her of the sign where we were on the top of the mountain, how God sent his angels who took us and brought us to the cave of treasures and laid the gold on the southern side, incense on the eastern side and myrrh on the western side. Now come to him. When Eve heard these words from him, she rejoiced greatly. And thinking that Satan's appearance was real, she came out of the sea. He went before, and she followed him until they came to Adam. Then Satan hid himself from her, and she saw him no more. 
She then came and stood before Adam, who was standing by the water and rejoicing in God's forgiveness. And as she called to him, he turned round, found her there and wept when he saw her and smote upon his breast. And from the bitterness of his grief, he sank into the water. But God looked upon him and upon his misery and upon his being about to breathe his last. And the word of God came from heaven, raised him out of the water and said unto him, go up the high bank to Eve. And when he came up to Eve, he said unto her, who said to thee, come hither? Then she told him of the discourse of the angel who had appeared unto her and had given her a sign. But Adam grieved and gave her to know it was Satan. He then took her and they both returned to the cave. These things happened to them the second time they went down to the water, seven days after their coming out of the garden. They fasted in the water 35 days altogether, 42 days since they had left the garden. Chapter 34 And on the morning of the 43rd day, they came out of the cave, sorrowful and weeping. Their bodies were lean, and they were parched from hunger and thirst, from fasting and praying, and from their heavy sorrow on account of their transgression. And when they had come out of the cave, they went up the mountain to the west of the garden. There they stood and prayed and besought God to grant them forgiveness of their sins. And after their prayers, Adam began to entreat God saying, O oh my Lord, my God and my creator, thou didst command the four elements to be gathered together and they were gathered together by thine order. Then thou spreadest thy hand and didst create me out of one element, that of dust of the earth. And thou didst bring me into the garden at the third hour on a Friday and didst inform me of it in the cave. Then at first I knew neither night nor day, for I had a bright nature. Neither did the light in which I lived ever leave me to no night or day. Then again, O oh Lord, in that third hour in which thou didst create me, thou broughtest to me all beasts and lions and ostriches and fowls of the air, and all things that move in the earth, which thou hadst created at the first hour before me of the Friday. And thy will was that I should name them all one by one with a suitable name. But thou gavest me understanding and knowledge and a pure heart and a right mind from thee that I should name them after thine own mind regarding the naming of them. O oh God, thou madest them obedient to me and didst order that not one of them break from my sway according to thy commandment and to the dominion which thou hast given me over them. But now they are all estranged from me. Then it was in that third hour of Friday in which thou didst create me and didst command me concerning the tree to which I was neither to draw near nor to eat thereof. For thou saidest to me in the garden, when thou eatest of it, of death thou shalt die. And if thou hadst punished me as thou saidest with death, I should have died that very moment. Moreover, when thou commandest me regarding the tree, I was neither to approach nor eat thereof. 
Eve was not with me. Thou hadst not yet created her, neither hadst thou yet taken her out of my side, nor had she yet heard this order from thee. Then, at the end of the third hour of that Friday, O Lord, thou didst cause a slumber and a sleep to come over me, and I slept, and I was overwhelmed in sleep. Then thou didst draw a rib out of my side and created it after my own similitude and image. Then I awoke, and when I saw her and knew who she was, I said, this is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Henceforth, she shall be called woman. It was of thy good will, O God, that thou broughtest a slumber and sleep over me, and that thou didst forthwith bring Eve out of my side, until she was out, so that I did not see how she was made. Neither could I witness, O my Lord, how awful and great are thy goodness and glory, and of thy good will. O Lord, thou madest us both with bodies of bright nature, and thou madest us two, one, and thou gavest us thy grace, and didst fill us with praises of the Holy Spirit, that we should be neither hungry nor thirsty, nor know what sorrow is, nor yet faintness of heart, neither suffering, fasting, nor weariness. But now, O oh God, since we transgressed thy commandment and broke thy law, thou hast brought us out into a strange land and has caused suffering and faintness, hunger and thirst to come upon us. Now, therefore, O oh God, we pray thee, give us something to eat from the garden to satisfy our hunger with it and something wherewith to quench our thirst. For behold, many days, O oh God, we have tasted nothing and drank nothing and our flesh is dried up and our strength is wasted and our sleep is gone from our eyes from faintness and weeping. Then, O oh God, we dare not gather aught of the fruit of the trees from fear of thee. For when we transgressed at first, thou didst spare us and didst not make us die. But now we thought in our hearts, if we eat of the fruit of the trees without God's order, he will destroy us in this time and will wipe us off from the face of the earth. And if we drink of this water, Without God's order, he will make an end of us and root us up at once. Now, therefore, O God, that I am come to this place with Eve, we beg thou wilt give us of the fruit of the garden, that we may be satisfied with it. For we desire the fruit that is on the earth and all else that we lack in it. Chapter 35. Then God looked again upon Adam and his weeping and groaning. And the word of God came to him and said unto him, O Adam, when thou wast in my garden, thou knewest neither eating nor drinking, neither faintness nor suffering, neither leanness of flesh nor change, neither did sleep depart from thine eyes. But since thou transgressedst and camest into the strange land, all these trials are come upon thee. Chapter 36. Then God commanded the sheriff, who kept the gate of the garden with a sword of fire in his hands, to take some of the fruit of the fig tree and give it to Adam. Then the sheriff obeyed the command of the Lord God and went into the garden and brought two figs 
on two twigs, each fig hanging to its own leaf. They were from the two of the trees among which Adam and Eve hid themselves when God went to walk in the garden. And the word of God came to Adam and Eve and said unto them, Adam, Adam, where art thou? And Adam answered, O God, here am I. When I heard the sound of thee and thy voice, I hid myself because I am naked. Then the sheriff took two figs and brought them to Adam and Eve. But he threw them from afar, for they might not come near the sheriff by reason of their flesh, that could not come near the fire. At first, angels trembled at the presence of Adam and were afraid of him. But now Adam trembled before the angels and was afraid of them. Then Adam drew near and took one fig, and Eve also came in turn and took the other. And as they took them up in their hands, they looked at them and knew they were from the trees among which they had hidden themselves. Chapter 37 then Adam said to Eve, Seest thou not these figs and their leaves, with which we covered ourselves when we were stripped of our bright nature? But now we know not what misery and suffering may come upon us from eating them. Now, therefore, O Eve, let us restrain ourselves and not eat of them. Thou and I, and let us ask God to give us of the fruit of the tree of life. Thus did Adam and Eve restrain themselves and did not eat of these figs. But Adam began to pray to God and to beseech him to give him of the fruit of the tree of life. Saying thus, O oh God, when we transgressed thy commandment at the sixth hour of Friday, we were stripped of the bright nature we had and did not continue in the garden after our transgression more than three hours. But on the evening thou madest us come out of it and those days together with this the 43rd day do not redeem that one hour which we transgressed O oh God, look upon us with an eye of pity and do not requite us according to our transgression of thy commandment in presence of thee. O oh God, give us of the fruit of the tree of life that we may eat of it and live and turn not to see sufferings and other trouble in this earth. For thou art God. When we transgressed thy commandment, thou made us come out of the garden and didst send a sheriff to keep the tree of life, lest we should eat thereof and live. And we know nothing of faintness after we transgressed. But now, O oh Lord, behold, we have endured all these days and have borne sufferings. Make these 43 days an equivalent for the one hour in which we transgressed. Chapter 38. After these things, the word of God came to Adam and said unto him, O Adam, as to the fruit of the tree of life, for which thou asked, I will not give it to thee now. But when the 5,500 years are fulfilled, then will I give thee of the fruit of the tree of life, and thou shalt eat and live forever, thou and Eve, and thy righteous seed. But these 43 days cannot make amends 
for the hour in which thou didst transgress my commandment. O oh, Adam, I gave thee to eat of the fig tree in which thou didst hide thyself. Go on and eat of it, thou and Eve. I will not deny thy request, neither will I disappoint thy hope. Therefore, bear up unto the fulfillment of the covenant I made with thee. And God withdrew his word from Adam. Chapter 39 Then Adam returned to Eve and said to her, Arise, and take a fig for thyself, and I will take another, and let us go to our cave. Then Adam and Eve took each a fig and went towards the cave. The time was about the setting of the sun, and their thoughts made them long to eat of the fruit. But Adam said to Eve, I am afraid to eat of this fig. I know not what may come upon me from it. So Adam wept and stood praying before God saying, Satisfy my hunger without my having to eat this fig. For after I have eaten it, what will it profit me? And what shall I desire and ask of thee? Oh God, when it is gone. And he said again, I am afraid to eat of it, for I know not what will befall me through it. Chapter 40. Then the word of God came to Adam and said unto him, O oh Adam, why hadst thou not this dread neither this fasting, nor this care ere this. And why hadst thou not this fear before thou didst transgress? But when thou camest to dwell in this strange land, thy animal body could not be on earth without earthly food, to strengthen it and to restore its powers. And God withdrew his word from Adam. Chapter 41 Then Adam took the fig and laid it on the golden rods. Eve also took her fig and put it upon the incense. And the weight of each fig was that of a watermelon. For the fruit of the garden was much larger than the fruit of this land. But Adam and Eve remained standing and fasting the whole of that night until the morning dawned. When the sun arose, they were at their prayers. And Adam said to Eve, after they had done praying, O oh Eve, come, let us go to the border of the garden looking south, to the place whence the river flows and is parted into four heads. There we will pray to God and ask him to give us to drink of the water of life. For God has not fed us with a tree of life in order that we may not live. We will therefore ask him to give us of the water of life and to quench our thirst with it, rather with a drink of water of this land. When Eve heard these words from Adam, she agreed. And they both arose and came to a southern border of the garden, upon the brink of the river of water at some little distance from the garden. And they stood and prayed before the Lord and asked him to look upon them this once, to forgive them and to grant them their request. After this prayer from both of them, Adam began to pray with his voice before God and said, O oh Lord, when I was in the garden and saw the water that flowed from under the tree of life, my heart did not desire, neither did my body require to drink of it. Neither did I know thirst, 
for I was living and above that which I am now. So that in order to live, I do not require any food of life, neither did I drink of the water of life. But now, O oh God, I am dead. My flesh is parched with thirst. Give me of the water of life that I may drink of it and live. Of thy mercy, O oh God, Save me from these plagues and trials and bring me into another land different from this if thou wilt not let me dwell in thy garden. Chapter 42 Then came the word of God to Adam and said unto him, O Adam, as to what thou sayest, bring me into a land where there is rest. It is not another land than this, but it is the kingdom of heaven where alone there is rest. But thou canst not make thy entrance into it at present, but only after thy judgment is passed and fulfilled. Then will I make thee go up into the kingdom of heaven, thee and thy righteous seed. And I will give thee and them the rest thou askest for at present. And if thou saidest, give me of the water of life that I may drink and live, it cannot be this day, but on the day that I shall descend into hell and break the gates of brass and bruise into pieces the kingdoms of iron. Then will I in mercy save thy soul and the souls of the righteous to give them rest in my garden and that shall be when the end of the world is come. And again, as regards the water of life thou seekest, it will not be granted thee this day but on the day that I shall shed my blood upon thy head in the land of Golgotha. For my blood shall be the water of life unto thee. At that time, and not to thee alone, but unto all of those of thy seed who shall believe in me, that it be unto them for rest forever. The Lord said again unto Adam, O oh, Adam, when thou wast in the garden, these trials did not come to thee. But since thou didst transgress my commandment, all these sufferings have come upon thee. Now also does thy flesh require food and drink? Drink then of the water that flows by thee on the face of the earth. Then God withdrew his word from Adam and Adam and Eve worshiped the Lord and returned from the river of the water to the cave. It was noon day. And when they drew near to the cave, they saw a large fire by it. Chapter 43 Then Adam and Eve were afraid and stood still and Adam said to Eve What is that fire by our cave? We do nothing in it to bring about this fire. We neither have bread to bake therein nor broth to cook there. As to this fire we know not the like Neither do we know what to call it. But ever since God sent the sheriff with a sword of fire that flashed and lightened in his hand, 
from the fear of which we fell down and were like corpses. Have we not seen the like? But now, O Eve, behold, this is the same fire that was in the sheriff's hand which God has sent to keep the cave in which we dwell. O Eve, it is because God is angry with us and will drive us from it. O Eve, we have again transgressed his commandment in that cave so that he had sent this fire to burn around it and to prevent us from going into it. If this be really so, O Eve, where shall we dwell? And whither shall we flee from the face of the Lord? Since, as regards the garden, he will not let us abide in it. And he has deprived us of the good things thereof. But he has placed us in this cave in which we have borne darkness, trials and hardships until at last we found comfort therein. But now that he has brought us out into another land, who knows what may happen in it? And who knows, but the darkness of that land may be far greater than the darkness of this land. Who knows what may happen in that land by day or night? And who knows whether it will be far or near? Oh, Eve, where it will please God to put us may be far from the garden. Oh, Eve, or where God will prevent us from beholding him because we have transgressed his commandments and because we have made requests unto him at all times. Oh, Eve, if God will bring us into a strange land other than this in which we find consolation, it must be to put our souls to death and to blot out our name from the face of the earth. Oh, Eve, if we are farther estranged from the garden and from God, where shall we find him again? And ask him to give us gold, incense, myrrh, and some fruit of the fig tree. Where shall we find him to comfort us a second time? Where shall we find him that he may think of us as regards the covenant that he made on our behalf? Then Adam said, no more. And they kept looking, he and Eve, towards the cave and at the fire that flared up and around it. But that fire was from Satan, for he had gathered trees and dry grasses and had carried and brought them to the cave and had set fire to them in order to consume the cave and what was in it so that Adam and Eve shall be left in sorrow and he shall cut off their trust in God and make them deny him. But by the mercy of God, he could not burn the cave. For God sent his angel round the cave to guard it from such a fire until it went out. And this fire lasted from noonday until break of day. That was the 45th day. Chapter 44. Yet Adam and Eve were standing and looking at the fire and unable to come near the cave from their dread of the fire. And Satan kept on bringing trees and throwing them into the fire until the flame thereof rose up on high and covered the whole cave, thinking as he did in his own mind to consume the cave with much fire. But the angel of the Lord was guarding it. And yet he could not curse Satan nor injure him by word because he had no authority over him. Neither did he take to doing so with words from his mouth. Therefore did the angel bear with him 
without saying one bad word until the word of God came who said to Satan, go hence. Once before didst thou deceive my servants and this time thou seekest to destroy them. Were it not for my mercy, I would have destroyed thee and thy host off the earth. But I have had patience with thee unto the end of the world. Then Satan fled before the Lord. But the fire went on burning around the cave like a coal fire the whole day, which was the 46th day Adam and Eve had spent since they came out of the garden. And when Adam and Eve saw that the heat of the fire had somewhat cooled down, they began to walk towards the cave to get into it as they were wont. But they could not by reason of the heat of the fire. Then they both took to weeping because of the fire that made separation between them and the cave and that drew towards them burning. And they were afraid. Then Adam said to Eve, see this fire which we have a portion in us, which formerly yielded to us but no longer does so. Now that we have transgressed the limit of our creation and changed our condition and our nature is altered, but the fire is not changed in its nature nor altered from its creation. Therefore has it now power over us. And when we come near it, it scorches our flesh. Chapter 45. Then Adam rose and prayed unto God, saying, See, this fire has made separation between us and the cave in which thou hast commanded us to dwell. But now, behold, we cannot go into it. Then God heard Adam and sent him his word that said, O oh, Adam, see this fire, how different the flame and heat thereof are from the garden of delights and the good things in it. When thou was under my control, all creatures yielded to thee. But after thou hast transgressed my commandment, they all arise over thee. Again said God unto Adam, See, O Adam, how Satan has exalted thee. He has deprived thee of the Godhead and of an exalted state like unto me and has not kept his word to thee, but after all is become thy foe. It is he who made this fire in which he meant to burn thee and Eve. Why, O oh Adam, has he not kept his agreement with thee? Not even one day, but has deprived thee of the glory that was on thee when thou didst yield to his command. Thinkest thou, Adam, that he loved thee when he made this agreement with thee? Or that he loved thee and wished that he raised thee on high? But no, Adam, he did not do all that out of love to thee, but he wished to make thee come out of the light into darkness and from the exalted state to degradation, from glory to abasement from joy to sorrow, and from rest to fasting and fainting. God said also to Adam, see this fire kindled by Satan around the cave. See this wonder that surrounds thee and know that it will encompass about both thee and thy seed.
when ye hearken to his behest, then he will plague you with fire, and that ye shall go down into hell after ye are dead. Then shall ye see the burning of his fire that will thus be burning around you and your seed. There shall be no deliverance from it for you, but at my coming, in a like manner as thou canst not now go into thy cave by reason of the great fire around it, not until my word shall come that will make a way for thee on the day my covenant is fulfilled. There is no way for thee at present to come from hence to rest. Not until my word comes. Who is my word? Then will he make a way for thee, and thou shalt have rest. Then God called with his word that the fire that burned around the cave, that it part itself asunder until Adam had gone through it. Then the fire parted itself by God's order, and a way was made for Adam. And God withdrew his word from Adam. Chapter 46. Then Adam and Eve began again to come into the cave. And when they came to the way between the fire, Satan blew into the fire like a whirlwind and made on Adam and Eve a burning coal fire so that their bodies were singed and the coal fire scorched them. And from the burning of the fire, Adam and Eve cried aloud and said, O oh Lord, save us. Leave us not to be consumed and plagued by this burning fire. Neither require us for having transgressed thy commandment. Then God looked upon their bodies on which Satan had caused fire to burn. And God sent his angel that stayed the burning fire but the wounds remained on their bodies. And God said unto Adam, see Satan's love for thee, who pretended to give thee the Godhead and greatness, and behold, he burns thee with fire and seeks to destroy thee from off the earth. Then look at me, O oh, Adam, I created thee, and how many times have I delivered thee out of his hand? If not, would he not have destroyed thee? God said again to Eve, What is it that he promised thee in the garden? Saying, At the time ye shall eat of the tree, your eyes will be opened, and you shall become like gods, knowing good and evil. But lo, he has burnt your bodies with fire and has made you taste the fire for the taste of the garden and has made you see the burning of fire and the evil thereof and the power it has over you. Your eyes have seen the good he has taken you from and in truth, he has opened your eyes and you have seen the garden in which ye were with me. And ye have also seen the evil that has come upon you from Satan. But as to the Godhead, he cannot give it to you, neither fulfill his speech to you. Nay, he was bitter against you and your seed that will come after you. And God withdrew his word from them. Chapter 47. Then Adam and Eve came into the cave, yet trembling at the fire that had scorched their bodies. So Adam said to Eve, Lo, the fire has burnt our flesh in this world. But how will it be when we are dead? and Satan shall punish our souls 
Is it not our deliverance long and afar off? Unless God come and in mercy to us fulfill his promise. Then Adam and Eve passed into the cave, blessing themselves for coming into it once more. For it was in their thoughts that they never should enter it when they saw the fire around it. But as the sun was setting, the fire was still burning and nearing Adam and Eve in the cave so that they could not sleep in it. After the sun had set, they went out of it. This was the 47th day after they came out of the garden. Adam and Eve then came under the top of hill by the garden to sleep as they were wont. And they stood and prayed God to forgive them their sins and then fell asleep under the summit of the mountain. But Satan, the hater of all good, thought within himself, whereas God had promised salvation to Adam by covenant and that he would deliver him out of all the hardships that had befallen him, but has not promised me by covenant and will not deliver me out of my hardships, nay, since he has promised him that he would make him and his seed dwell in the kingdom in which I once was. I will kill Adam. The earth shall be rid of him and shall be left to me alone so that when he is dead, he may not have any seed left to inherit the kingdom that shall remain my own realm. God will then be in want of me and he will restore me to it with my host. Ending of chapter 47. Thank you for listening. Thank you for loving God. Thank you for finding God for yourself, because at the end of it all, at the end of it all, it will only be you and God. Now's the time to be fruitful and multiply. Spread the word of God. Research it for yourself and spread it. Let other individuals know. Let people know. Jesus asked us to be fruitful and to multiply. God asked us to be fruitful and to multiply. Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 14, read it, that we shall go about and do greater works than what Jesus has done himself. Do you believe that you can do greater works than what Jesus has done? If you do not, then you are questioning Jesus. Essentially, you are saying that Jesus lied. If Jesus said that you can do greater works, then you can do greater works than what Jesus has done. We must believe it and we must collectively come together and individually build a relationship with God. Now, I will be coming forth with more spiritual readings. I will be coming forth with more hidden mysteries, lost books. I will be continuing the first book of Adam and Eve, also known as the conflict of Adam and Eve with Satan. I will be continuing from chapter 48 through chapter 63. Go to my audiobook section and you will see spiritual audiobooks. I do daily prayers. I am here. I am here. God asks, Where art thou? I am here. I will spread the word of God. I will continue to be fruitful and multiply. I'm asking you to share the word of God with the ones you love and the ones you do not know because we all were made in the image and in the likeness of God. Be blessed and stay phenomenal and plan strategically for your life or life will strategically plan for you. Amen.